All right, six, four, complex fractions. So complex fraction is just like fractions with inside a fraction, okay? So like in number one, it says one half divided by three fourths. Now we learned from previous sections that when we divide by a fraction, we have to do what, Jake? Flip them. Flip three. Yes. Flip the, Flip, the second. Flip the second fraction. So multiply it by a reciprocal. So this would be one half times four thirds. Okay. Now with these, what I like to do is I like to cancel as I go along. Okay. So I don't like to do one times four. Remember, I like to cancel and then multiply. So here I would notice that two goes into two one time and two goes into four two times. And then I'd see if there's anything else from and there isn't. So I do one times two is two, and then one times three is three. So my answer would be two thirds. But now, Hansi, it's not as simple, right? With number two. All right, why is it not as simple? Yeah, I have in the denominator one half plus one third. So what I need to do in this problem, Hansi, is I kind of need to break it up into like two totally separate problems, okay? The first problem is what is one half plus one third, okay? So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna think about what's one half plus one third, okay? Now, how would you do that, Hansi? What needs to be the same with fractions? All right, so let's think. What is the, very good. So I was about to say, what is the smallest number that two and three go into? And then Hansi, notice it's six. So we multiply this fraction by three over three. And we multiply the one third by two over two. And that's gonna give me three times one is three. Three times two is six. So I have three six, which makes sense, right? Because half of six is three, okay? And one times two is two, and three times two is six. So I have three six plus two six is five six. Lee, are you okay with that? Not too tricky yet, right? All right. So five, six is my denominator. So this problem, Hannah, really is asking, what is one divided by five, six? Do you see how I broke it up into two separate problems? I made the denominator the same in the denominator, okay? So I combined those two fractions, and now I have one divided by five, six, and then I do what Jake said, and I multiply by the reciprocal. So we do one times six fifths, which is six fifths. Okay. You good? All right. So in order to simplify complex fractions, it basically said to break it up into two problems, right? So simplify the numerator and denominator separately, which we did. And then it says simplify the fraction by multiplying them by the reciprocal, which is what Jake said, okay? Now, let's look at number one. All right, there's a lot going on with number one. So let's kind of look at this in two separate parts. That's the numerator. Julia, is there anything I can do with the numerator? Like, can I combine things or simplify things? No. It's just simply two divided by x plus two. You okay with that? Not much to do there. Now let's look at the denominator. Julia, is there anything I can do there? Yeah, I have to, before I can do anything, I need to make these two fractions have the same denominator. Now this is where like the earlier sections in chapter six, namely 
All right, comes into play. Justin, do you remember that? 6-3? Okay. So 6-3, unfortunately, it was before spring break, but not much I could do about it. All right. So that said, this. All right, we need to look at our denominators. Okay, this is x plus 2, and this is x. So what I needed to do was kind of make one denominator. So if we look over here, notice I'm missing the x. So I multiply this one by x over x. Justin, does that ring a little bell? Okay, and then what was this one missing? What did this one have that this one doesn't? Well, remember, it's got to come in the hole, like the whole thing. Jake? No. Nope. Remember, the whole piece that it's missing is x plus 2. Oh, yeah. I thought you said plus. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. you got to speak up. Got to use your adult voice. Yeah. Just because you got fancy shoes with tights on it. Huh? It's like, it's not those like, uh, you know, little Nas X shoes. They only sold 665 pairs. And then they got a lawsuit. All right. So notice the first fraction had an X plus two and it was missing the X. And then the second fraction, okay, we have the X, but we're missing the X plus two. So now I have to kind of, just focusing on the bottom, I kind of just have to add these two fractions together. I know it's a lot, Kylan. Are you ready for this? X times one is X. Denominators, remember, we're not doing anything with it. We're just going to leave it as X times X plus two. Do you guys see how I did that? X times one is X. X times X plus two. See that? Ready for this, Nikki Granlin? Plus, here, I have two times x plus two. Two times x is two x. Two times two is four. Over x times x plus two. Do you see where that came from? Now, x plus two x, three x. Plus four, because there's no other like numbers to combine with. Over x times x plus two. Now that's just the denominator. It's not my answer. That's just the denominator. Okay. Now we go back to what Julie was saying with the numerator, right? We bring that back into play. So this whole thing, oops. this whole thing, okay, is two over x plus two. And then all of this green work here was just for the denominator, which could be simplified to three x plus four over x times x plus two. Cody, you with me? Mike, somewhat? Now, Jake, what did you say? What do we do? Okay, we multiply by the reciprocal. So the numerator times, and Jake said, flip that second or that denominator. So we have x times x plus two over three x plus four. Kaylin, do you see anything that's the same on top and bottom? X plus two. So I'm going to cancel those out. Anything else?
trick question. There is nothing else, right? Because the two can't cancel with anything in here, right? Like they can't divide a two into the three. Make sense? And the x, I can't cancel the x because of that plus sign, right? But you always have to ask yourself, is there anything else I can cancel, right? The obvious part was the x plus two is canceled. And then you got to see, maybe, does the two go into the three x plus four? And the answer would be no. You got to ask yourself that. So here, the numerator is simply two x. And the denominator is just three x plus four. Length. Yeah, I guess so. Now I don't get another false start. All right, we okay with that? Carolina, can I turn, turn to the next problem? All right. I thought about it. But you know, we're. You never know who might watch, you know, my YouTube channel. Government. All right. All right, let's look at the numerator. Is there anything to simplify out in the numerator? No. It's just three over X minus four, that's it. Anything I can do there? Yeah, I gotta combine them to make it one fraction. So what I need to do here is I need to figure out what is my common denominator. Okay, now with expressions, I kind of think it's a little bit easier, even though it seems harder right now to figure out the common uh, denominator. But look, this is an X minus four. It's like one whole thing. And this is an X plus one. Notice this fraction on the right doesn't have X plus one in the denominator. So I'm gonna multiply the top and bottom by X plus one. I'm going to multiply this fraction. Well, notice it's x plus one in the denominator. It doesn't have the x minus four. So I'm going to multiply by x minus four. You guys kind of see that? Like, it's kind of going to follow that pattern for right now. Like, I'm going to multiply this fraction on the right by the denominator there, and that one on the left by the denominator here. Okay. Won't always be that way, Nikki Grandland. But for right now, until we get better, it's kind of what it's going to be like. It takes a long time. Yeah, it takes a long time to do these problems. It's okay. I don't feel bad for you because they spend like eight hours doing five problems. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a big deal. You? Like, yeah, me. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Like, it's coming. It's and it's worse. It's worse. You're just you, full of good news, Jake. Full of good news. Uh, probably. Probably. All right. Here. So I'm going to do x plus one times one. That's just x plus one. Over. In the denominator, I have x plus one times x minus four. Here, in the fraction on the right, I have three times X, it's three X, and three times negative four, that's negative 12, over denominators X plus one times X minus four. Carolina, do you see where I got that from? Now I'm gonna combine my numerators. X plus three X is four X. One plus negative 12 is negative 11. So I have four X minus 11 over X plus one times X minus four. We okay? 
Penny, you okay? Jay? Justin? All right. Now, now that my denominator is kind of simplified, I can kind of give rid of that box. And I can kind of just look at it as the numerator, which was three over x minus four divided by Oh, yeah, my denominator. That worked out really well. I didn't think it was going to pan out that well. Jake, what do I do? Multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do three over x minus four times x plus one times x minus four over four x minus 11. Like, is anything the same in top and bottom? X minus four. Anything else? Now, so I would just do three times X, that's three X, three times one, that's three over four X minus one. All right, you okay with that Hans? I'm surprised. Anything I can do in the numerator? Anything I can simplify? Is there anything I need to do? You sure? What did you do? What was, what was that, Cody? Was that you? Did you say yeah? Yeah, I do. I, I do need to do something. Notice. It's not one fraction in the numerator. There's two. I have one plus one over x. So I need to make that the same denominator. I need to make it one fraction. So I'm going to make that one a fraction just by putting it over one. So I have one over one plus one over x. I will multiply that first fraction by x over x. And do I really need to multiply by one over one? No, I think we're pretty good. Okay. So that's going to give me x over x plus one over x. That's x plus one over x. You guys see that? Now let's focus on the bottom. This very similarly, it's one over one. I'm going to multiply by x over x. So that's going to give me, let's see, x minus one over x. You guys okay with that? Now I'm going to get, uh, kind of get rid of the box. Okay. So I have the green piece, which was x plus one over x. And then I have my blue work, which is the denominator, which was x minus one over x. And then Jake, what do I do? Multiply by the reciprocal. So I have x plus one over x times 
X over X minus one. Anything the same, Jake? What's this doing? The axis. So my answer is just X plus one over X minus one. Yep. So we. All right. How do we feel? Not too bad. Yeah. All right. This is just more practice. We're probably going to hold off on that till tomorrow.